Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Upper right in corner we have Sony, aka Nooks, starting as the very stylish Green Zerg. Very, very matter Grast. Doing the good luck, have fun. I think Grast, also active in the community out there. I've seen him around. Bottom right in corner, he's starting as the blue Protoss. I feel like this is like the, this is a nice, it's, it's almost like the dressed up for a dinner party colors of these players. This is on Polypoid. Again, Sony in the round of 16 here playing. He's on the verge of elimination here. Both players on the verge of elimination. Playing with COVID, not playing particularly well. And I think we saw that in particular in his game one, where he had a lot of the components. He had a lot of the things he was looking for to get into the late game, but never got defilers out. Uh, was dealing with a lot of, uh, I guess, I feel like I'm making excuses for him now. Shouldn't be like, shame on you. Should have known not to, to, to stay masked. And it's your fault. Stay masked, get vaccinated, something like that. Give him a hard time. Feel like I have a uh, resident. I have uh, the ticket to do so, though, being that he is a regular <laughs> in the chat. Anyhow, grass going kind of for an interesting forward pylon. Not something you typically see often. So I assume this is going to be a gateway first opener. Yeah. So gateway on the low ground. But with the pylon at, the, at that position, it's going to be difficult to get a good SimCity blockade against any sort of early aggression. And we are seeing early aggression. We're seeing, well, pseudo early aggression. We're seeing an overpool for Sony, comparatively. Luckily for Grasty, he is going to get early drone, drone scout. He's going to the upper right-hand corner, going to go ahead and get that initial information, know what he's up against. It is a two-gate opener. That's kind of what I was expecting, seeing that pylon in that upper position. And that, that was kind of clever. So just in case there was a crazy, well, I don't know about this. It's unusual for Zerg players to just scout that early. To just throw out, you know, the, the drone that quickly. But if it had come across, it might have found that gateway right off the bat on that scouting pattern, depending on how things happened. And been like, oh, well, maybe there was, uh, maybe this is just a standard opener. But now that second gateway is hidden up there. But if, if you, and so you see the pylon, you see the gateway, you just assume, okay, this is just a standard one gate build. But instead, there's that second gateway hidden up here. Anyway, natural expansion has been grabbed from Sony. He's got four Zerglings producing. This is where lack of scouting might hurt him, though, because he doesn't know what he's up against. And thus far, has only produced four Zerglings. And what Grass is doing is actually delaying this build a little bit, where he's going to wait for the three Zealots and then move out with the three Zealots and continue the pressure from there. The, and being very patient with it as well. And actually, if he's very clever with this, he can just have the probes... That probe lead him right to the zealot and allow these zealots to get an additional attack. Although that will let the cat out of the bag as far as what the opener is. And kind of the opener pressure. We'll see though. Gas being grabbed from Nooks. No additional Zerglings as of yet. Which is going to be very difficult to fend off. In fact, he's going for the third hatchery. He's going for the third hatchery as the zealots are already making their way across. And this Zergling sees at least two zealots making their way. But I don't know that that's like a big indicator. He still has the Zergling trying to deal with this probe. Doesn't realize the danger he's in. So two Zerglings moving back, two Zerglings versus two Zealots is not a good situation. That hatchery is going to finish, and that's as this third Zealot makes its way up with these two probes. And now, just not enough Larva for Nooks to defend this. He's trying to pull probes and get some Zerglings stuck, but the Zealots not quite reacting. Trying to blockade the ramp a little bit, but more Zealots moving up for Grass. Trying to engage right there. Doesn't get a probe kill. I think lost a Zergling in the midst of that. Loses two more Zerglings on the low ground. One probe gets taken out to the high ground on the drill. Trying to get a creep colony to defend this. But the Zealots, they're just overwhelming at this stage. This is four Zealots being distracted. They're going to go ahead and march right into the main. Four Zerglings are going to be there. And this is a Zealot for each Zergling. He can actually maybe even focus the spawning pool. At the very least, he's going to be able to kill several drones. The drone's peeling off. And now, yeah, just working on that spawning pool. Good Zealot targeting. There's GG from Sony. Move on to game two momentarily. But yeah, lack of scouting information is killer. I like the patience from Grast in this build. Where he didn't just jump that Zealot forward. Instead, waited for the three, knowing that it was a four-player map. But a quick one. So let's go ahead and dive into game two in this loser's bracket. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.